Greetings everyone, welcome to yet another content from Throttle Alpha. Now today's content is very interesting, uh, we are up for a helmet test after a very long time and this uh, video will determine a lot about the current helmet scene because the budget helmets in our current market are doing really good. So we will look through the, this KYT TT course and put it through a few extreme tests to see how this budget option from KYT does under these circumstances. Now what happened in the current helmet scene is that a lot of manufacturers compromise and save cost in making their helmets. They use a softer shell and a harder EPS and that way safety is compromised. What KYT does is that they use a harder shell and a softer EPS with multiple density. What that helps with is that it helps to absorb crashes in multiple speeds and that is the perfect R&D uh, they should use to build helmets up. That, that is what happens in racetracks actually. And this helmet has been developed with a lot of R&D and today we will look through how this helmet does in these tests. Now this extreme test that we will conduct with this TT course will consist of four tests in total. Number one, we will use a large hammer and use it in a few areas. Number two, we will use a small hammer and use it in a few areas to see how it does. Number three, we will shoot pellet rounds with these rifles in the visor to see whether the visor sticks to its cut with intense penetration powers in small areas. So that way we can determine that whether a large impact throughout minute areas really impacts the visor or not. Now these rifles can uh, shoot up till 1000 feet per second so I think that's a lot of force in the visor that will be applied and the number four test that we will conduct would be uh, driving a jeep or driving an SUV over the helmet and that test will be conducted if it survives the first three tests. So initially we're starting off with the large hammer so we're gonna hit the top part and the visor part too and after multiple hits we're gonna see how this helmet stands. Now we have switched to the small hammer, but before we go to that factor, the large hammer test went extremely good. In the first four to the first three hits, the helmet did have no significant damage. After the fifth or the sixth hit, we did find uh, damage in the top shell, but this is nominal in that sense because the shell did take multiple impacts uh, before the main break. So the shell did do extremely good. There is no large break inside the inner EPS. The inner EPS is still very good to go. And after multiple hits in the visor too, the visor stood out to be very good and it's still working actively. So what we will do now is use the small uh, hammer in the visor mainly and throughout the sides of the helmet in multiple hits to see whether the helmet still sticks to it. After significant hits at the visor with the small hammer, uh, we unfortunately managed to break our hammer, but the visor is still intact. So we will forward to the rifle test and shoot at the visor to check whether the visor still manages to survive or not. So, so far, I think the large and the small hammer test went really good for the TT course. The helmet did stand out to do its job perfectly. Uh, with the large hammer test and the small hammer test, the internal EPS is still doing good. Uh, the padding did come off and a few parts did come off, but I think in terms of a serious uh, crash or a heavy crash, I think the inner EPS and the top shell and the side shell especially will do an excellent job and the visor is simply phenomenal. So, now we are forwarding to the test where we're going to shoot pellet rounds on the visor of the helmet. We're going to use two different rifles, one that shoots at 750 feet per second and one that shoots with 1000 feet per second. 
and we will see how penetration power impacts the visor. So this does not have an optimum ideal for crashes. This test does not verify whether the visor would stick to crashes or not, but this will determine the strength and density of the visor. So we will see whether we can penetrate the visor or not. So now we have switched to the rifle that shoots at around 1000 feet per second. The 750 per second rifle did not do any significant damage to the visor. We will get to the results later. Now we will check how a 1000 feet per second rifle does with the visor of the helmet. We are done with the first three tests uh, conducted with the helmet. Initially we conducted a large hammer test and secondly we did a small hammer test and thirdly we shot with the rifle. So after all the tests, uh, the verdict is that uh, after a few hits with the large hammer, the top shell significantly initially didn't take any damage but afterwards the top shell, it took a minute damage after 5-6 consecutive hits but in the first 2 or 3 hits, the shell did not have any significant damage which was very good because the large ha hammer is pretty heavy and once you hit with a heavy hammer, you expect the shell to take a bit of a damage but within the first few hits, the helmet did not take any damage. With the second test, uh, the small hammer test, we did go for multiple hits on the visor and the sides of the helmet and the side of the helmet remains intact still and the side inner EPS is also intact. The visor also was intact with the hammer, nothing happened to the visor. Well, the inner EPS then, uh, after many hit, multiple hits with the hammer, took a few damage and we expected that damage because no helmet would have survived so many consecutive hammer impacts. So I think in that account, uh, the helmet did do very good in the first two tests. Now coming to the uh, rifle test mainly where we shot the visor of the helmet, well, the visor didn't take any impact in the first few shots, like in the first five, six shots, the visor did not take any significant impact. But after a few close range shots, like we used about three to four feet of distance. Initially, we used about six to 10 feet of distance, but then we used four to five feet or three to four feet of distance. And after the close shots uh, with the rifle, the visor did take some small hole gaps, but uh, this is not actually penetrated. The visor just took a minute bend or a minute compressive strain, but nothing actually uh, significantly happened to the visor after the bullet round. So I must say I'm heavily impressed with the construction of this helmet. The EPS was a standout job done. The harder shell uh, compared to the competitors did a very good job. I have to say this helmet is one of that helmet in this price point that is truly track oriented and can perform that way because the damage that we put up so far has been extensive. Now we will move forward to the fourth test which is we're going to drive an SUV on this helmet. Now we're pretty sure that this helmet won't survive that round but it's just for the fun and to see what actually happens because the helmet already took a lot of damage, the APS is a bit damaged, the shell is a bit damaged, so it wouldn't survive, but if it does, we're gonna be madly surprised like we are already. So after the fourth test, which is driving the car over the helmet, the helmet still managed to stay a bit on shape. Well, I didn't expect this helmet to stay uh, in complete manner or in complete form after this test because the helmet did suffer pre previously up to three tests. So this was all that we could uh, come up with these tests for the KYT TT course helmet. I think this helmet does an outstanding job in terms of durability in this price point. And since this is a budget helmet from KYT and GearX Bangladesh is offering this helmet at a uh, pretty good price tag, I think uh, you can really sustain this helmet and call this a track oriented or racing helmet still in this price point because you're getting a lot of safety out of this hard shell 
and this uh, multi-density EPS construction. And uh, our verdict for this test is a go for this helmet. And I hope this video helped you understand this helmet a bit better and uh, how these helmets are uh, under these situations. So do follow us on Facebook and do follow us on Instagram and do stay updated with us. We are going to come up with more interesting contents like this one with you in the future. Till then, take care, stay safe and thank you.